I'm speaking to you today from Brussels, where the temperature outside is approaching 40 degrees, or more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, with Belgium and the Netherlands breaking all-time records for heat. I'm actually not sure how easily I'm going to be able to get home tomorrow, because the UK is also experiencing extreme temperatures and the railway is unable to cope. Just one indication of how totally unprepared we are for the climate emergency. The World Meteorological Office has declared that the unprecedented heat waves we have seen across Europe this year bear all the hallmarks of a warming climate, increased frequency and greater intensity of weather events. Scientists have also concluded that the speed and extent of this current global warming exceeds any similar event in the past 2,000 years. This is what we mean by a climate emergency. And we're running out of time. There's a growing consensus that the political steps needed to cut emissions in order to keep the temperature rise below 1.5 degrees will have to happen before the end of next year. Bold decisions on taxing carbon emissions, shifting rapidly to 100% renewables, and investing in cheap and efficient public transport have to be made urgently. And we should put an end to absurd policies like subsidising fossil fuels and air travel today, immediately, right now. That's what an emergency means. Greens believe that the best way to tackle the joint challenges of climate breakdown and massive inequality is through a Europe-wide Green New Deal. This will create hundreds of thousands of quality new jobs in the green sectors of the economy. It will also improve health and welfare by ending fuel poverty and creating the infrastructure for active travel. Greta Thunberg and the school strikers and the direct action by Extinction Rebellion have moved the climate emergency to the top of the political agenda. And it was wonderful for me to be able to visit Bristol Extinction Rebellion and to be part of their demonstration last week. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. It's really hard to concentrate in this heat. I know it's hard for all of us. But as politicians, we have to act urgently so that Greta and her generation inherit a living, breathing planet and a climate that can sustain human life. <laughs>